We are here at Dübendorf Military Air Base and we are currently in the middle of a campaign on behalf of the European Space Agency, which we carry out with our partners, the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratories. The goal of these current research flights is to collect data for the preparatory phase of uh, two missions that are coming up for both uh, the European Space Agency, that's the Copernicus uh, hyperspectral imaging mission for the environment. And for NASA, we also fly data for the surface biology and geology mission called SBG. Uh, these missions are actually dedicated to monitor surface processes. My usual work day starts pretty early these days. I'm usually getting a nice cup of tea and then the first thing I do is the weather forecast for all the mission areas that we are going to fly within Europe. Uh, once I've done the weather forecast, the next step is to figure out which missions to fly in the next five days. Um, that is followed by the briefing for today's flight, telling people which areas are actually going to be acquired, briefing the field teams as well and uh, then at some point the aircraft's going to take off and I control the mission. This um, then also includes having a look at the field teams, checking that they're doing the spectral ground control data we need to actually do the calibration validation of the airborne products. And speaking of instruments, we also need to occasionally go to the laboratory, check if the performance of the instrumentation is still up to scratch. To execute the current mission, we are flying the cutting-edge sensor Everest NG. Um, that's property of NASA JPL. And we carry out around 30 research flights covering uh, just about 90 test areas all around Europe. Uh, the second time we operate with NASA JPL and um, fly missions within Europe. To do that, we actually got a Space Act agreement with NASA, which allows us to fly this sensor. And that is not something that's very common. We are actually the first research group at Uni Zurich to get such a Space Act agreement. We are super happy to have Everest NG currently here flying out of Dübendorf Air Base. Leading such a research flight mission is very demanding. There are a lot of constraints like the weather, air traffic control, scientific constraints. In a way it's almost like mission impossible and it's super satisfying once you manage to achieve that. And uh, obviously at the end of the day it is just super cool also to be flying with NASA JPL.